Okay, here we go. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to do some braiding on the hair. We're going to put a little design up here. Alright, on both sides, right above the hair. And the hair is going to come down like this. And we're just going to notch out a V cut in this area. You'll see it in just a second. We're just going to do a little V cut, like so. And we're just going to notch that out, okay? And do the same thing over on the other side. Alright. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, notch this out with a V cut, with a knife. Now you can use your V-tools if you want. It's entirely up to you. I'll leave that choice up to you folks. You you know you're if you're used to using a gouge and V tools, that's and you have those tools available to you, that's that's fine. Go with it. I'll do the same thing over here. So, we have those two parts out, and what we're going to do is we're just going to put like a rope look down here, just like so, and let's see, this way, about three, alright, and all that consists of is a V-cut again, going across, All the way to the back, don't forget. Yeah. Now we're just going to straggle these at the end, maybe three. Yeah, there we go. I'll do one side online here, and you can do the other side offline. Alright, so that's what it looks like. And then we'll, um, actually, if it's braided, it needs another line going across. So let's do that. Ah, we're, we're going in different territories now. That's a good thing. All right, so, uh, let me see if I can do that back here without having a real problem with it. And, uh, give it a braided look. Let me just do this quietly here for a second and uh, because I can't see it that well where that thing is in my face okay so there we go alright there's the braided look we have okay and we're gonna do the same thing over here um, I'm going to cut it one way and then go up across it so it looks like it's braided and then the end part I don't have my my little v-tools here but I'll do it with with the I'm just going to do random cuts just like so all right just all the way so all right sometimes you can get a crisper look with the um, with the knife than you can with a uh, with a V tool because the V tool is a little bit rounded on the on the very end of it. And then what we want to do up here is we want to kind of bring this out a little bit. And these are the little details that are fun to do when you're done with your carving. You can add all these little things to it later. Let me do this back here again, if you don't mind. Okay. I'm almost done. I'll be right back. I promise. I won't go anywhere. 
just so hard to see it, especially when you spray it. You can't really see your lines where you where you cut. Now the V tool might be better for this than doing it by knife, but you can do it with a knife if you want. Okay, so I have it a little bit out. I'll do a little better job, but I'm going to go ahead and do the other side, and then also. Uh, if you want to start doing your lines for your hair, it's very simple. I'm going to do the bottom portion with the knife. Just little V cuts. Okay, just like so. Okay. Let me see. Now, the other thing we're going to do, so I'll take care of the hair and I'll come back later and show you. We're going to do the feathering yet on the feather and um, a decoration on his band there yet and we're gonna have a bunch of stuff yet to do um, this project's a little bit longer you can make it as detailed as you like or as, as uh, easy as you like and uh, there's no right or wrong way of doing it folks alright so what we're gonna do next is we're gonna trim out this portion like there's a this is gonna be like a tassel look to it, just like what this is, uh, like a fringe look. Okay, and we're going to do that at the bottom of his coat and probably down his legs here as well. You know, we're going to have a fringe look down here as well on either side. And then he'll be done. Alright, so we've got a few more things to go. So what we want to do is we want to take our knife again and do a a uh, stop cut like this all the way around and just follow that slowly around I think it's up around the shoulders really nice all right and then go back and just undercut that Now, folks, when you do this, there's so many different varieties of things you could do with Indians. There's so many different, like, stuff that they wear and all that. You can really have a lot of fun with it. And it's endless. It really is. It's like doing Santas. There's so many different things you can do with Santas, too, if you want. <laughs> I should have left that as a fringe. Now, that's an idea. But my only concern with that... It, it probably wouldn't stay on there for very long. See, you always come up with these ideas after. I'm trying to get a crisp look here. I have to sharpen that knife up a little bit. Ah, that's a little better. There we go. This might be fun to do as a class later on for those of you that would like to try it. And and the uh, shepherd. Okay. Hmm. I don't know if that's the look I want. Let me think it over. Yes, it is. <clears throat> yeah, because what we're going to do here, we're going to put a little, a little V cut in his little thing here. And a V cut here. Uh, I don't think I want to do that. Let me switch that over here. Okay, hey, I'm running out of time. I'll be right back.